friends who are amazing this tonight. It's actually, sorry, it's almost going to use inappropriate language there. It's pretty Mickey. Um, Alright, this is a little piece I did before the Kinetic Jazz Festival, which a small group of us here at Caravan Slam got to be a part of. It was amazing. And so, yeah, I haven't probably thought that one out, but that happens. Good. <laughs> Very inappropriate microphone. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> okay, so this this little one, yes, yeah, an old one, but not a pretty last one. The poem said to the poet, Can I sit on your face? The poet responded in silence, shocked by the poem's lack of grace. Uh, we're in a cafe, the poet remarked. Surely this isn't the time or place. Though the poet was running short on ideas, and this was one sure way to pick up a pace. I mean, I want you to wear me, like a mask. The poet was confused and confronted by this odd task. Look, if you want me to remove myself, you only have to ask. Confused, the poet looked to his pen, the table, then his flask. He sat back in his chair, and he sipped from his tumbled glass. And in this moment, realised he was permitting the cheap old rotting timber beneath him to kiss his swollen ass. And so he thought at once to consider the poem's obscure and rather forward pass. <coughs> but what would the people see? The poet began to ask. Why do I need you to hide behind? The poem then abruptly replied. You've lost it, man. Where is your mind? If you were to wear that blank face, there'd be nothing left to find. Sorry. The skin on your skull is as obvious as sin, and mate, hey, you could not fool the blind. The poet here waited his further blundering, listening to the skies outside through a storm thundering. The scars you bear, see, they bear no mystery. Your expression reveals a boring, damaged history. What on earth are you getting at? The poet started to itch. He tilted his head in discomfort, and his cheeks, they began to twitch. Have you got it, babe? Look, here's the sitch. The, to make the message more clear and hurt, the poem, she began to lower her pitch. Look, babe, I'm the shit, honey. I'm your art. I'm the only goddamn thing in your life that's got a chance of mending your poor trodden on heart. Oh, shut up, said the poet. You're nothing but a blasphemous tart. And he stood at once, sweet in his jacket, and whistled for his horse and cart. The skies outside had folded a dark grey, and as he left the cafe, he heard in the distance the poem say, doesn't matter how far you wander, distance only makes a heart grow fonder. <laughs> he sheltered his head with his hat from the oncoming rain. Like a poem, like a mask, was only trying to hide his inner pain. See the poet? He was ghastly frightened of this thing called love, endlessly trying to convince himself there was never such a thing he was thinking of. But this battle, it was tiring him. Forever he was fighting. See the need for such a thing had become clear through his writing. It was a far journey back to the poet's abode, and as the cart marched onward, he scanned the side of the road, quickly searching for a pit stop, a place to like release and blow his load, and carrying behind his vessel of escape was his broken heart he towed, his palms they were sweaty with confusion and dismay, he was furious and flustered at what this poem had to say, for a long, long time the voices of his alter ego had been kept at bay, he was shocked and baffled at his mind's most recent play. <laughs> Oh well, the poet thought to himself, just another bloody poem, just another bloody day. Store at Daily Meds. I asked him last week while we were partying at Sub Sonic. I was like, man, do you want to do beats for my poetry next week? And he's like, oh, sorry, I'm doing the thing. So, yeah, that didn't work out. So, <laughs> before I deliver this little uh, baby rap in the rap that I wrote today, would you all like to give me a bit of a clap? Yeah! Um, Woo! Oh, thanks! <laughs> I actually made a beat, but it's <laughs> The <laughs> yeah. So I've been struggling, screaming since the beginning. Yeah, my head's been flipping, 
spinning. So many pictures in my mind, I'm screwing them up and doing them. I'm searching for a certain more metaphor, yeah. Wanna do it? Write another line to drop another jaw now. I wanna stay true to myself. Always got something from within my core. I reach right in all. Now I hold back, cause my heart is sore. Yeah, I look deep, coming up at yours. Still there, it's not fair. The smell of your hair, large pain. The stuff I'm my mind, I can't believe I still find you. Standing there with your arms out, reminding me that you love me. You still care about well, that reality is about as visible as well. So it's about time I get over it. Yeah, and now I want to stop you masticating my fantasies. You're infecting me and treating me like a mad disease. Oh, please, would you be so kind? Haven't you got better places to be than occupying my mind? Laying back and unwinding. Up come the memories that I thought I left far behind. Now I know they say that love is blind, but did you know that I cannot help see it? I can't breathe. To leave. I can't believe that you're gone and all of this, it's not, it can't be over, it's, it can't be done, can't we go back to where it all begun, nothing but bliss, no plus of fun, huh? this shit must be able to be undone, I remember when you called me the one, saying sugar pie, baby cake, sweet honey, bun, no more than nine, yeah I'm missing you, I miss kissing you, yeah you hear that I'm over it, this isn't true, babe, in every single line you're there, yeah, in my mind, in every rhyme, if I had it done, but every single time you popped in my head, man, I swear to God that probably would be dead, love is blind, but for you, I'd sacrifice my eyes, I'd do anything to take back the mistakes, and the love my heart aches, the smile it's just a disguise, my black coat, only emptiness to reveal, my hollowness of my heart is hard to conceal, I can't feel like I did in my existence, a new connection, but only more resistance of Oh, I'm hoping things get better with persistence. Mm -hmm. Cause another beat, a uh, therapeutic my body and so I move on my feet. A long time, I never call me now. I'm starting to feel the heat. Starting to open up, let in more people that I meet. Picking up those heels, I'm dragging them in the street. But I can't compete with the energy that was given. Nothing compares to the life we were living. Life is constantly a different shade of loving, loving dark. No one ever said I was walking the path, the roads on my journey. They were often rough. I know I got it tough, but the low is easy. I went and used to light it up. And every rose is a thorn. And I know you were a prick, but I wish you weren't gone. <laughs> I know they say that deserts are serene, but really, I swear to God, deserts don't even know my pain. Never in thought of you gone on for too long. It's been months and months since you've been gone. I've laid myself for ages, but now I know you've been wrong. Uh, now it's about time I start moving on. Thank you very much. You've been the best audience I've ever had in my entire